Darren Levine here at Media Halo with a quick news update. There's been some new lenses announced by Tokina and Tamron in the ultra wide and fast market. First, the Tokina, it is 11 to 20, 2.8 constant. Seems like they've refreshed their really great line, which was the 11 to 16. They had a uh, first version, a second version of that. That's one of the most renowned fast wide lenses you can get for crop sensor lenses. So this new one extends that range a bit, keeps everything else looking pretty much the same. And looking forward to that, it looks, like, looks like it's going to be about the $800-ish range, but we're still waiting to hear about the U.S. pricing. The other one by Tamron, even more interesting, it's a 15 to 30 millimeter 2.8. So you get more of a mid-range, oh, still ultra-wide to normal-ish, almost normal-ish kind of range because it's a full frame lens. So for full frame, 15 to 30, yet yeah, still wider than a uh, normal lens for a normal focal length for the long end, which is 30 normal focal length is usually around 50. But still, you're getting more normalish range along with that 15 millimeter ultra wide on full frame. And even on a crop sensor, 15 to 30 is a nice little range. Obviously, we already know about the, uh, the was it the Sigma, the 18 to 35 f 1.8. That lens is getting a lot of traction because that's a really awesome, uh, cool lens to have. So that range of 18 to 35, that's plenty usable. So the range of 15 to 30, yeah, you get a little bit wider, but a little less in the long end for APS-C crop sensor type uh, cameras. So that's why this is also really interesting because if you have a full frame camera, if you also have a crop sensor camera, that's looking really interesting. The thing that entices me the most about it, it also has VC, the vibration compensation, which Tokinas just don't have. So for me, that's actually very interesting because I like to have that image stabilization because I'm running around shooting a lot of video, especially for photography, eh, not so much, but it is nice to know that you have that feature there if you really want it. So that is the news update for now. The bird has no input as usual, and I'm Daryl Levine at Media Hill. Take care.